Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. Today I'm going to talk about strings. What a string is, is a, uh, it's an array of characters or chars. And an array is just a set, uh, ordered set. Um, so a string is an object. And the object is, a string is immutable, meaning you cannot change the length or characters uh, of a string objects and if you do then it's a new string so therefore you have not uh, changed the last string so to declare a string is you want to say string uh, let's say let me say name equals and in char, if you remember, you use single quote marks. In a string, you're going to want to use double quote marks. And I'm just going to say Mike. In that with a semicolon, system dot print line name. Okay, so very simple. Mike. Uh, I'm going to show you a cool way to concatenate variables with just other strings I guess you could say so I want to say in here hello my name is Mike so I'm gonna say hello my name is and then put a little space here and we're going to use something called concatenation and that is when you add two strings together and put a plus and then put the variable name Mike or name and the variable name does not have to be in quotation marks so make sure you end what you did put in here and I put a space here because there's no space here and if you concatenate it this would just be one word so this should print out hello my name is Mike not hello my name is name so let's see what happens see hello my name is Mike and strings being an object comes with quite a few few cool uh, features. Um, I'll just put them in here. Or functions. Let's say name dot. We can look at what character is in what spot. As you can tell, it says int and argument zero, and it's going to return a char. So let's run this. And for numbering. Uh, places or arrays you're gonna all, in computers you always start with zero for the index and then one two three so if I put uh, two I should get a K there we go and if I put a number that wouldn't exist I probably get an array index out of bounds there at the bottom of the screen string index out of bounds exception okay so let's see what other cool things we can do with name dot uh, we can compare it to another string and it will compare the 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 unicode or ascii values which are integer values number values for each letter to see if it's correct so if I compared that to uh, Let's actually give you a real example. String name two equals. I'm gonna put lowercase m for Mike. This should not be equal. Um, compared to name two, and I think it returns. Yeah, it returns an int, and says so the result. If the result is zero. They are equal. Pretty much, if it's if it's a negative, something's greater than the other one. You can read on that, but if it's not zero, they're not equal. So we got a negative thirty-two. So that means they are not equal. Say name dot compare to ignore case. So this should probably. I never had to use this before, but this should probably give you a zero. See what happens. Bam. So that one works. Let's see what other things we can come up with. Name dot char code point. Uh, hmm. 
another index of uh, we can say is it empty that's a boolean I didn't even go over boolean boolean is another type that gives you true or false so boolean uh, let's say let's just give it some dumb name correct equals and you can only give it the values true or false and that comes in handy when you have to start doing logic to decide which paths to take and all types of mess. Let's see what happens here. False. Yeah, so because name has characters in it, being empty is false. Let's see, name dot let's see what else we can work with. We can look at the last one. We can look at the length. This comes in handy. Length is four. It's four up there. Name dot. Um, let's get substring and beginning index. We'll say one. Index. We'll say three. This should probably. So what that's saying is it's going to return a substring of this starting at index 1 which is the i and ending at 3 which is the e so it should print out ike or ik hmm I guess I didn't print out the third index alright so name dot we can do to lowercase and copy this. So I don't have to keep typing everything out. Let's just do this and say to uppercase. And those are pretty self explanatory. Damn. So that's the string class. There's plenty of other things we can do with them, but uh, pretty much it just represents any type of text. And like I said, it's an array of chars we'll go over what arrays are in future tutorials I know a lot of this stuff I'm trying to explain with stuff that with concepts that we haven't ever gone over yet so the longer you watch these the more things will start to make sense uh, please stick in there uh, for me it was a steep learning curve and as soon as it clicked I started learning exponentially fast so please hang in there with me and subscribe to my videos um, having a little bit of YouTube trouble right now, but I will get all this stuff up and running, and I will keep pumping out videos, and I will go uh, as far as I can with this, as detailed as I can. Please comment any questions, or go to my website, nickprogramming.org, to ask any questions. Thank you all very much, and have a good day.